Welcome to uh, Publishing House 101. Um, I want to thank you for taking the time to volunteer um, your help in your child's classroom to create these beautiful handmade books that um, all of the boys and girls in kindergarten through second grade make each year. Uh, this is the final product if you've never seen it before, the children write a story, and then it's our job to help um, put the books together. We put the cover together, and we also, um, some of us type up the stories. Each teacher's a little different. And then we sew the stories together and glue them into this book and get it back um, to the classroom teachers in time for the boys and girls to illustrate them uh, before they're presented to us or the um, families on uh, whichever night the grade levels choose. Um, in general, second grade presents um, on STEAM night, which happens in March. Um, kindergarten likes to be done about mid-May, and first grade likes to be done towards the end of May, first of June. Um, so this is what you're going to be making. This is what there are um, several videos also um, online about each step, very in-depth, um, step by step, what you need to do to create this if you haven't before. Um, but I'll give you a quick little overview, um, talk about a few tips and hints, and um, send you on your way. So each classroom has a kit. Um, and this kit has everything that that class needs to create a classroom set of books. Um, if you need any extra supplies or if you run out or you um, make mistakes and need extras, they are in the Studio B, which is located in the K1 wing. Um, they also have, um, some of you will need to be typing the stories for your classroom teachers or um, printing them rather. Uh, a lot of the teachers already have them typed. And so um, you just transfer the stories to a thumb drive. We have a basket full of thumb drives here. Um, and then you plug it into the publishing house computer, which is in the Studio B, and are able to um, upload the stories and then print them out. There is a manual next to the computer um, that has everything you need to know about how to print um, the text out and the covers out. Um, and if you have any questions, my email and my phone number are on the computer, so feel free to call. And I'll get back to you as quickly as I'm able. Um, the materials that you'll need um, to make a cover, I'll um, show, whoops, show you right there. And again, the classroom kits have enough for the entire class. Um, but to make one book cover, um, here are the materials that you'll need. And to sew, if you're working on the sewing part of um, the stories, here are the materials that you need. And again, every, the classroom kit has enough for the entire classroom full of students' books. So what happens is um, a couple of things have been tripping some people up, so I just wanted to show you really quickly. Um, when you print out your title page, um, we need to make sure it's in a land, uh, portrait orientation, not landscape. Um, this is going to go onto the cover, and the way we assemble the cover, um, we're gluing, folding down this way and this way. Um, some It won't work if um, the story in the title is printed this way, so we need to make sure that your cover page um, is printed in the portrait orientation, so that's one little tip. And then um, for those of you who have the covers made look like this, and then you have your end pages here, which is folded cardstock that you're going to glue the sewn stories to. Um, you need to be sure that your printed paper is all in landscape mode uh, before you start to sew. So you'll start with um, the uh, PTO page because the PTO is um, who purchases all of our supplies for us, so we give them credit here. Um, and then the next page that you'll have is another title, um, an author page, but we can't use this one on the cover. Um, it's not the correct orientation. So this is the one that goes inside of the story. Then the next page you'll have is this dedication page, also printed landscape. There's nothing on this side. And then you have your story, um, which for most of the children um, is just one page. It's, um, front and back, so it ends up being like four story pages. Um, it looks like that, and that goes inside. So you just have to be sure that the part that gets sewn into the book all is oriented to landscape, and then the part that um, goes on the cover is oriented portrait. Um, so that was one little tip. Um, also, it makes a lot of sense if you can get a small group of people together to work on the project. Um, the covers, the back covers can be made ahead of time. Um, the front covers have to wait until you have the um, 
story page, the title page, print it out, uh, but the teachers usually can get that to you pretty quickly. Um, it goes much faster with the group, um, but you can also take small um, sections of this home and work on it from home and then send it back to school um, when that section is completed. So that about sums up the uh, overview of the publishing house process. I would encourage you again to um, take a look at the other videos that are posted online. They are very thorough and answer most questions that folks would have, um, and they take you through the whole process step by step. Um, thanks in advance for your willingness to help and donate your time and talent uh, with this project. I know that you and your children are going to treasure the final result for many years to come. And please don't hesitate to ask any questions should you have them. Thanks again.